station of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, David White. And welcome all to another exciting edition of the Power Trading Hour with me, your humble, lovable, and squeezably soft host. As always, we like to come to you at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So what do we have going on today? Well, uh, Mr. Powell's off his catwalk again after he did a little dance on the catwalk, on the catwalk. Uh, so now he's, uh, he's showing his stuff, and everybody's kind of scratching their heads. Down uh, one buck on the S&P cash, but that's probably not too exciting. Uh, still up uh, 150 on the uh, Dow. 151. NASDAQ's off 17. Russell, of course, is the big loser. Down 10. Uh, so once again, we took uh, a run at the highs. Uh, volume is rather uh, paltry. Uh, 3.6 billion shares. As I wrote in my newsletter this morning, uh, not only is volume relatively down, uh, but the actual dollar notional amount traded is uh, massively lower, uh, and that tells you a great deal, and that is that uh, those small caps are in uh, action. Uh, we also saw the dark pool uh, percentage move up to uh, fairly close to 40%. Uh, so there is a lot out here that tells you that we've got probably a short-term uh, high, and one of the best indicators uh, that I have is the uh, put-call ratio on the VIX. Uh, it was under 40 yesterday, or under 50 yesterday, which is generally a good sign uh, that there's not much going on. My models uh, for options, of course, uh, show that option market makers um, have about uh, a yeah, probably what about an equal chance of uh, 30 points higher uh, in the S&P before expiration uh, to uh, maybe 100 points lower. So they're fairly biased to think that there isn't much higher and there's a possibility of a whole lot lower. So the risk reward probably isn't very good at being long right now, unless you're in some massively shorted stock, uh, which a lot of times uh, on high shorted stocks, if you get the opportunity to see that squeeze into a downturn and have the patience uh, to sit on your hands and stalk it. Eventually, you'll get up and everybody will quit uh, shorting it. And within uh, generally about a day, uh, if not hours, of that happening, when the shorts no longer can look down the barrel of that gun and pull the trigger is when the, mar when the uh, uh, stock will turn. And generally, it turns rather massively, especially if you can get uh, into a sharp uptrend of the... Uh, uh, puts on the other side of it when everybody's throwing them, uh, the baby out with bathwater. Uh, some of the, my biggest, uh, hugest uh, pops. Uh, I was thinking about, was it Priceline with John from Philadelphia that we were talking about in a, in a three-gap play higher? Uh, there's a lot of those kind of things that just instantly turn around on a dime. And sometimes uh, if you've been around long enough, you can see them. Anyway, you can call me at 877-927-6648. You can email me at path at tfnn.com. And, of course, you can always put a message in the den. Uh, other things going on today, of course, uh, you always want to keep a close eye on the uh, dollar ninety six sixty nine. Uh, but uh, the volume is kind of telling you everything you need to know, 3.6, 3.7 billion shares, which is not much to push those highs. We haven't had a sign of strength since we broke through the highs. Uh, and again, not a lot of reason to think that there's a big catalyst to drive the market higher. So if you want to go short here, I think you've got a fairly decent, not all, 
But uh, there's some pretty low-hanging fruit down here that offers you uh, the ability to have a fairly tight stop to the upside and a, uh, a fairly uh, um, robust downside if everything goes to hell in a handbasket. Stocks go up and stocks go down. Uh, don't uh, If the market starts going down, don't get into the cheerleader mentality of it. Uh, at the highs, you want to be uh, fearful, and at the lows, you want to be greedy. I am fearful now. Why most people at the top uh, are not, and my guess is I'll be fairly greedy. Probably get out a little early, but once again, be able to buy some uh, stocks at the low. I uh, ended up selling some of my longer-term positions out and uh, making some decent money on them today. I, at least uh, looking into options all the way through August, I don't see uh, where there's a lot of potential upside. It may just go sideways, but I'd much rather be out instead of, uh, and, instead of worrying and fretting about a market that goes nowhere uh, than uh, have money at risk. Uh, only to see uh, maybe one of them step on a landmine and lose a leg. It's all fun games till someone loses an eye. No one else could ever lose like a, a limb or anything else. As a kid, it was always you were going to lose an eye. But uh, I do digress. Uh, gold's down five bucks at uh, fourteen uh, hundred and seven bucks. Uh, I had the first question already in today, and that is. Uh, if we are starting to pull back here, is there anything that you really want to be long? And the answer, uh, I think, is uh, not blowing in the wind. That was a bunch of filthy hippies in the seven and the 60s. Uh, I think the answer is blowing in the bond market. Um, somebody pointed this out to TBT uh, and the uh, nice move it has. This may be the most crowded trade of all time, and that is the bond market right now. Um, whatever is going to happen on this is going to be rather uh, biblical in nature, I suspect. Um, so uh, hopefully uh, over the last few days, you got uh, some rest in over the 4th of July, uh, but those uh, bottle rockets uh, and uh, mm -hmm. big fireworks displays may continue on through the rest of July. Other things happening, uh, yes, I am going to be uh, having a big event. Everybody pretty much knows how much I love space and Apollo Project. And yes, uh, that night we're going to go out uh, and pop on over uh, to the other side of Florida for a big deal on the uh, 50th anniversary of the uh, moonwalk. And uh, yeah, a lot of neat stuff going on in that. There's a big project to... Uh, for a lot of individuals to remake uh, the uh, Apollo capsule door uh, and put it all together uh, in the Smithsonian next to the actual Apollo 13 to show just how far technology has come where a lot of people can, in their basements, build things. Mm, a lot of people think America's forgotten how. A lot of people out there are still uh, able to make things. So uh, we'll be looking at that. We'll come back. We'll talk about a little bit of history. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, 
the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $197 a month with the risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. And we're going to go right to the phones, which are, uh, I guess they're hot. Anyway, uh, Larry is on the line from Wyoming. How are you doing today, Larry? I'm doing real well. Hope you're doing good, too. Yep. Okay. Well, I got a simple question, uh, David. I, um, <clears throat> I want, I want, uh, I bought dust this morning near, near the, um, low, and, uh, it looks, you know, it looks confirmed on the 30-minute chart in a wave two, and uh, so my question is, using your method, I know you don't like to day trade, but how would you make a determination? Like if you had a determined right now uh, for dust on a th or gold for a 30-minute, four-hour, five-hour daily um, look, how would you use volume to determine, do I hold it overnight or it's going to just retrace half the bar anyways? There's no point to it. That's my question. Uh, well, what I was going to say is you got pretty much the the uh, makings of a much bigger pattern, not a smaller one. So first of all, I would say that uh, I would uh, not uh, get lost on the uh, tree for the forest because uh, uh, you've got uh, to, to, to do what? Uh, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 days. Uh, that this went down. You got a handful, three days that it went up above the three by three. You had uh, one, two, three, four, five. Any close back above a nine day moving average would put this uh, fairly significantly on the side of a major retrace. Uh, so for me, the first thing I would look at out here uh, is potentially where this could go back to. Uh, Hang on so David, here. my question is, these are, I don't enjoy holding these overnight if I don't have to. Uh, how do you determine if you do hold it overnight? I mean, if it, let's say it does not close above 1115-ish on the daily chart. How do you what, just shut it down? Yeah, there's always another, there's always another trade. You can always get back in it. The What I'm yeah. saying here is that the risk reward now is unknown. But if oh. it closes back above, it's going to be very well known. Um, and 
from here, uh, there's a fairly nice confluence area running from, what, uh, 2102 to 1906. So, I mean, you could have a move back to 1906 that didn't actually uh, even start to uh, test the uh, uh, long-term bullishness of gold. Uh, yeah. There's a nice gap yeah. there and everything else. Um, you didn't you didn't buy options, right? You just bought the No, ETF. I just I because uh well Basil this morning had mentioned it could be just a trading range, so I I didn't do a moonshot with a option. I just I just bought the dust. That's it. Well that's so the, I, the, yeah. the 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 essence of uh options is taking the leap of faith. And the uh, the way to play the ETF is wait uh until you get the indication. Gotcha. Well, that's good to know. I, I never heard you say that, or at least I didn't hear it. Thank it, you. Yep. It is it, it buying the options and doing it right almost always means that you have to anticipate the market. Okay. Doing, on ETFs, your risk reward, uh, the asymmetrical uh, reward, mm -hmm. is yes. not what it is on options, and therefore, yep. you really yep, have yep, to yep. kind of wait until you get uh, and get the reaction that you want. Uh, you're not okay. going to get 10 to 1 out of this trade, although I didn't look at the uh, options, although I will here real quick uh, no. see if they are telling us anything about this. But for yeah. me, you know, you wanted – I've been talking a lot about these double repo patterns because they're all getting fairly set up just like they did around in May. Uh, and we did fairly well on that cycle too in the newsletters, uh, both uh, – going short and picking up the lows for the longer term stuff. But the idea is, uh, what is it? Uh, 1120. Well, David, when I look at the gold contract, honestly, um, I mean, I was looking at that thing second by second on the four hour chart. And it really looks like a, um, you know, a three, uh, what do you call it, a three move uh, in reverse, a three move to the top in reverse. You mean three gaps? Uh, and, huh? Yeah. You mean three gaps? You, that's what I was going to say. You've got a nice setup here. And okay. And the only thing is right. if you get in early and you get stopped out and then you go back in, you get stopped out. Okay. Um, that's so generally just use what normal I, this, stops. Don't try to guess overnight action. That's it. Uh, well, I, I certainly wouldn't on the ETF here. It's a triple. Okay. And that, that's problematic to begin with. That's where the options actually, if they're cheap enough, can be a very good play for what you did. Uh, yeah. But for me, uh, let's go ahead and take a look and see what it says on the, uh, if we just went to the nine-day traditional moving average. Pretty much the same thing. So there's not that much difference. Uh, 1122, 1115. Um, that's, of course, a fairly big move already, right? You're already talking about a 10% move higher uh, yeah. to get in. And that is the downside of playing an ETF, but you can get stopped out a lot of times on an ETF. And if you get stopped out three or four times, that's it. The option, you already know how much you're going to lose going in. And. Yeah. David, on a, on, a, on a Wyckoff analysis, does that – I'm not an expert in that. I, I mean, I see volume coming in here on this down move, uh, yeah, a little lighter than the down move in the middle of the pattern, if it is a pattern. Um, is there anything you can be that can be gleaned with Wyckoff uh, volume? I mean, we've got three lower lows on the daily. And uh, in gold, and um, there's some volume here. No. Yeah, but the I, I'm going to give you a, a, an idea in context. Okay. Uh, let's go back because I know the numbers from five years ago. But a in signal analysis or just the math that follows this. Okay. Uh, in 2015, a 100 point move in a Dow statistically uh, compared to a 500 point move in the Dow statistically is not a five time bigger signal. It's a, actually about a nine and a half time bigger signal statistically. And I don't know what the numbers are today, but it, it, there is kind of a log a rhythmic um, 
response in signals. And the idea that you get up here with, what, five, five and a half billion shares where we've had 10 and 12 billion shares over the last year, year and a half. Um, you, you know, generally in an ETF, a 25% move is the equivalent of, I mean, a 25% reduction in volume is the equivalent of a 50% reduction of volume in an individual stock. So you want to hang on through? We'll talk more about this. Oh, yeah. I, I sure. appreciate you. Yeah. Okay. We'll be back in... of least resistance is david white's daily trading newsletter and if you're looking for active trading ideas then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service david uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his path of least resistance newsletter using a combination of equity trades along with options david keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And hopefully we're still back with Larry. Uh, yeah. I'm looking at options and dust. And the August 16th, uh, we're trading for a buck here a little while ago. Um, so if it went to, let's say that you got a big run and you got back to that gap at uh, 19 bucks, so they'd be worth eight bucks, so 800% to the upside. Um, if wow. you bought the ETF, you're only going to be able to maybe make 80% or 100% if you get that. Still a good play, not saying it's not, but you can you can be wrong a multitude of times buying the options 
but if every time you lose 10 percent of a of a uh, ETF, you know, three times you're down 30 percent, right? So oh, yeah. what I was just saying, when you're well, you, you can uh, take a lot more uh, home run swings with options than you can ETFs, and that's generally why I would preach that you wait until you get the signal to act and give yeah. up a little bit of profit for uh, a lot more uh, high, highly probable trade. And that's just the nature of those those two. So okay. again, um, the signal you're looking for uh, on the nine day would be at least today, it closed at uh, 1122. I like yeah. what you're thinking. Uh, one of the things that really happens a lot of people don't know about because they haven't been around a long time is that gold does get sold pretty hard in a downtrend in a market. And a lot of people think, you know what, that's uh, uh, that's not something that happens. Well, Jim Sinclair, uh, early on, I think around 2002, with a uh, interview with uh, Tom O'Brien, talked about how they continue to buy gold uh, to hedge um, a lot of the portfolios, uh, and they continue to buy gold all the way up. Well, as soon as the market yeah. starts going down, uh, <laughs> they start selling that gold. And it, for the first couple of weeks in a downtrend, you do get a fairly decent move in gold yeah. if the market absolutely continues to move. People sell the gold, too. It, it's not the people like me and you. It is those big hedge fund managers that bought gold as a hedge position. And guess what? You know, it went up. Now it's time to take yeah. some money. And they're probably, as they sell that gold, they're probably selling some of the positions and they take that off. They did it as a Paris trade. We're long right. gold hey, and we're David. long this other thing. We're uh, long gold because if everything goes to hell in a handbasket, it's I probably it. not going to go down very far. David, David, on, um, uh, on a similar note, um, I, I don't get volume for Dixie, but I do get volume for UUP. And right today, it's ha halfway into its most recent daily gap, which is also ice on, like, no volume. And... Um, it looks to me like it wants to turn around, right? Um, I'm saying I got the best indication of a change in the market. I put that in my newsletter this morning. Uh, it's worked 80% of the time. There's nothing that works 100%. But one of the, at least in the handful of days going in front of us, we have a fairly decent indication uh, that we're going to see lower prices. Um, of course, when I look at the market uh, together, uh, as far as the options, uh, I see a massive amount of fear uh, in the uh, in the uh, market makers over the last couple of days. That's dramatically changed. Uh, let me see if I can't pull that up. Uh, yeah, that was Wednesday. Okay. Um, doo -doo -doo. Here we go. Let me pull it up here so everybody can see. Uh, Wait, David, but this are you is what. In a fear environment, uh, there'll be global selling. So you're saying you confirm people aren't taking profits in UUP. They're going, it's going to rally the dollar in a downtrend. Is that what you're trying to say? I'm saying generally in a downtrend, they sell everything. Some things more than others. But I mean in the dollar. The dollar will rally probably, right? It could. It could not. It's okay. done all kinds of stuff in the past. What I'm saying is that generally it may, let's well, say the dollar goes up a buck. It's not going to change anybody's life. Meanwhile, right. we're going to have stuff that moves rather wildly. I started the yeah. show off with the TBT. That's probably okay. the most overcrowded trade of all time. And it's not that specifically. It's the unintended consequences of everybody yeah. getting into one kind of instrument. In 2008 was everybody wanted to own a house, right? And then when that turn, especially illiquid trades like that turn, it becomes rather problematic. So gotcha. will the Treasury and the government try to stem the flow and make it orderly? The answer is yes, generally. But generally, they don't react until something big happens. Right. They always wait until the horse leaves the barn and then they'll come in a couple of days later after a bunch of people are fried 
and then that's it. But what I'm showing on the uh, options here for the S&P, uh, the spies, <coughs> is yeah. that there just isn't a whole lot of difference to the option market makers if the spy expires at 310 or 255. Wow, yeah. And that, and that yeah. is telling you that they are fearful uh, that a trade deal could come out of the woods any day and we could go yeah. a little higher. They're also yeah, yeah. fearful that a run on bonds or a handful of other things that could come out. And they don't, and they're, it, you know, their Armageddon is anything below, well, let's call it uh, 255 on the, uh, wow. on the spies. Doesn't mean it's going down there. It just means yeah. that they have no visibility. They're worried a little bit about higher, but yeah. that's really like 305. And they're massively worried about uh, a uh, something happening, a war, or, you know, anything, a hundred things. Yeah. And they just have okay. zero uh, worry. They don't think it's going to go below 255, but that's about it. And when you see yeah. that, that tells you that there's a bunch of stuff going on that they're worried about. Uh, if they weren't, then yeah. they move the the right side of that chart way down, saying that they knew it was headed down, or they'd bring the bottom of that chart, the left hand side, over to the top, knowing that there wasn't downside, and they're doing neither, which is generally a good indication uh, that whenever this market moves, you're probably going to have fairly large swings and high volatility. David, do you Not, buy that chart, or do you make that from your data? I make that, that a, from my data. Oh, wow. And this is actually a modified <laughs> I, I version. Do that. of That's why I'm a TFNN. Okay. Well, as usual, you've more than answered my questions. I, um, I can I, see I why like, you're short. I like your idea. The, it, it, could it pay off? It could. I would have waited, and okay. I like the yeah. much longer than a, a, a short-term trade. I, I think that really is a nice setup for a longer term trade. You just yeah. need it to close over the nine day moving average to give you the confirmation. And uh, that would be it. Or buy the options. Oh. Yeah, no, I, I'm just, ha I, I mean, if it, yeah, I'm, yeah, it's good. I'm going to, I'll make my decision in the last five minutes if I hold it overnight. So that's, the, that's game. the way to do it. There's <laughs> no reason to move until you have to. But the, uh, you know, oh, going into the break here. Thanks for the call, okay. Larry. Thank you, back sir. After yeah. this. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in a Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you'd like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors.
Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. And we had an email Where's at here. There we go. Uh, from Pete uh, asking us to look at options in new scan in U.S. as a symbol on this. Uh, a very nice looking chart out here. The downside is you're in a market that doesn't look all that sweet. Um, if the market was uh, sanguine, um, you've got some fairly good indications that about 58 bucks is where this would bounce to. You've got uh, a nice pullback on a lot, much lighter volume off this May 1st high um, and a fairly light volume test of the previous March 25th low. So not a bad setup if you believe the market is going higher. Uh, options, uh, when we look at these, let me find them here. There they are. I brought them up. Um, the problem is that these things are too thin. I would love if there was uh, calls for August 16th um, open interest is like 32 for 45 and, and open interest is, yeah. See, you almost have to go to the fifties for next month, which I would probably look at those trading around a uh, buck, buck 15 right now. Um, but you know, you've got to go four bucks to get into the money. But at that, this point, with a market as nasty as looking as I think it is now, that would be probably the play if you get a counter move into a downtrend. Uh, the most you can look at uh, longer term would be that probably that 58. So 50s, uh, you know, buck, get possibly eight back. Um, if you go to the 45s, uh, they're already three bucks. And that seems rather expensive to me so uh, to me the play is always the out of the money uh calls on something like this that have some time to them so you know if you're wrong i would want to see the market though really give a much better indication my guess is this thing is this going to probably float back around uh the lows um and of course any close back above a nine day moving average you're probably going to get probably fairly close to the same uh, dollar uh, price point, maybe dollar ten, on those calls. So I don't think you have to move much uh, out here or wait until uh, the nine day kind of catches up on you and then it closes back above it. Uh, but I would much rather wait uh, and see what happens over the next couple of days. Uh, see if there's anything else. Now, I mean, it's not a bad looking, probably one of the better looking or maybe even the best looking chart out here. But again, in a market that uh, could uh, see a fairly decent pullback and you know, we, you know, at best, we're probably going to go sideways. At worst, we can have some kind of other issue. So I continue to think that it is problematic um, in the market. But you know what? Um, that's what makes a trade. Um, I just like the risk reward. Um, you know, when this thing does turn around, if, if it doesn't blow out the bottom here, um, your long-term target's uh, 58 bucks. So 
pretty nice trade from 45, especially uh, at a buck for the total risk. Uh, and of course, options are to reduce risk, not take much, take more on. Uh, the play would be uh, to figure out if you were going to play it, just like you were buying the equity uh, and your stop was in there. If you were going to lose 500 bucks, uh, you bought so much stock. And if you got to your stop, you're going to lose 500 bucks. That's how much money you can use to actually buy the option. It's 500 bucks. The, you're not going to lose any more than if you played the ETF. But at the same time, you get all the upside in that option if it pays off. And this is, like I said, probably not a better looking chart right now out there that you had significantly lighter volume back down and a test of the previous low with about half the volume at 44.02. Actually, you need a little bit more. 44.52 is the low here today, so you're fairly close. You may have another day or two, like I said. You may even get into next Wednesday before I would buy the calls on it, but uh, eh, keep an eye on it. Uh, da -da -da. Okay. Um, someone brought up uh, Shopify, uh, E-T-S-Y, had some news. Um, this thing wasn't doing very good. It was kind of like Facebook after its IPO. Uh, a bunch of hippies were running it. It's kind of like Craigslist. That's okay unless you become a public company and everybody wants you to kick some money out. Well, they're getting rid of a lot more of those tie-dyed FM type, uh, good time uh, cockroach infested uh, FM types uh, in Etsy. And you got to start making some stuff that people buy. Uh, they're basically saying they're not going to push your products uh, if uh, you don't have some volume. And, you know, the idea of Etsy was people making one-off things for other people. Uh, that has kind of moved a little long. Anyway, the news has kind of angered some Etsy uh, FM uh, incense burning kind of folk which a lot of, I, at the beginning, I think that's what a lot of them were. And I think there's still kind of a, a decent amount of those folks that'll sell one or two or three or four things a week, and they're happy with that. The Etsy people want to make some money, the CEOs. Uh, a lot of people thought that this was going to kind of do it right off the bat, and it took a little while to put the uh, flames to the feet of the executives at Etsy. Uh, but uh, anyway, that's the question on whether or not it's moving um for uh, Spotify, because if you're losing your uh, your seat at the table with Etsy, you can always go sh uh, set up your own store over at Shopify. But if, again, these people are only doing four or five units a week or a month or whatever they're doing, uh, Etsy probably not losing anything by getting rid of the people that aren't doing much. You got to have at least a certain level uh, to uh, push products if uh, people aren't able to actually uh, get the orders out, which is generally a thing. You know, the, a lot of the stuff's handmade. Spotify, a little different issue uh, in that they really don't care. They're not putting their name behind what Etsy is. Etsy's actually saying, you know, if you order this thing, you're actually going to get it, but you got to uh, depend on that uh, person that, eh, maybe they're on vacation, maybe they're fishing today, maybe they're doing a lot of other stuff. Uh, not kind of business-oriented folk, but they are changing that. Uh, let's take a quick look at uh, Micron as we look at that. Someone brought that up in the den. Uh, you got a little doji out here uh, right at the top of this gap down. goes back to May 6th. Came down with uh, 25.8 million shares. Yesterday, you had 51 million shares, so not too bad. Today, 23 million shares. So uh, looking much better than the rest. We'll look at some other stocks that have me starting to go, hmm. And that's uh, Azurant. Oh, running out of time here. We'll be back. Only got a couple minutes to uh, close up shop for the Thursday. And we will do that. Be back in a minute.
I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And hang on for the one and only Larry Pesavento on most of TFNN right after this show. Then we go right on to the 4 o'clock hour, and uh, my brother from another mother, Basil Chapman, at 4 o'clock. So got a lot going on here. TLT, got a question about that. And, yeah, you had a, a fairly decent break. Um, what I like about this is a fairly good indication to support at about 125. Uh, we got to a low of, what, 129.76. Uh, but it certainly looks to me like over the next uh, week or so, we could probably quickly find ourselves around that 125 area. And that's just the confluence area where support is. It will be fairly good there. But again, this is one of the most, if not the most crowded trade of all time. So I'm expecting uh, a fairly quick um, sort of Damocles over the heads of these folks that are in a uh, probably somewhat illiquid market at this time uh, if things continue to go south. You've broke underneath the uh, three by three or nine day moving average. My guess is that you're going to stay under that all the way back down to 125. Um, and of course, that sets you up for a fairly decent support level uh, if you wanted to go long again. But, you know, just the way this thing's acted and moved uh, when it uh, couldn't blow out the bottom and it now tried to blow out the top, um, 
that 125 area is good. Uh, the confluence levels come from two different Fibonacci sequences. If you're watching on Tiger TV, you should be able to see those. You take the 3, 8, um, 2 of 1 and 6, 1, 8 of the other. And if they come very close like they do in this one, uh, I like about a percent, which is about what this one is. Uh, that gives you a very good indication of where support's going to be. So look for that 125 on the TLT give you a signal that uh, eh, we're back to the mean. In the meantime, go when you can, not when you have to. And we'll see you here tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time.